Dr. Erica, and I'm so excited that you are joining me for this paper circuit Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer project. So to get started, you're going to need a piece of cardstock paper and a Sharpie or a pencil um, or whatever you want to draw with. You'll need, if you're going to make it light up, you need a few extra things. You need a battery. This is a CR2032 battery. I chose a little red LED, but you could use any color you want. You're going to want some scotch tape and some copper tape that will help us make the wires and then we'll need some scissors. So those are the things you're going to need if at the end of this project you're going to want to make it light up. And we have an entire um, shopping list on Amazon where you can get all of the stuff you need all at once and it's all of my favorite items. So let's get started drawing our little Rudolph. So the first thing I like to draw is starting with where we're going to put our little LED. And we're going to find about the halfway point of the paper. And we're going to go to the middle of that point and just a little bit above, just a dot. And that's where our red LED is going to end up at. And then I'm going to look at the half point again. I'm going to come down a little bit, maybe to here. And the reason why we're leaving so much space here is we're actually going to create a tab that covers the back of our circuit. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start just gently sketching the bottom of Rudolph's nose right there. And now that I have that in here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to start doing his antlers. I like to do three little antlers. And you can do how many ever pieces to the antler that you would like. Just sort of an easy number for me to draw out. So I've got my two antlers. And then I'm going to connect the inside pieces of the antler. I'm going to give it a nice little curve. Like that. And if it doesn't connect, we can just make it connect for ourselves. Now I'm going to draw a fun little nose around Rudolph's red light that we have. And the next thing that we're going to do is I like to draw the eyes in, which gives me sort of an anchoring place. So I'm going to draw two really big circles. And the way I like to draw the eyes, I like to do cartoon eyes. My five-year-old loves doing these little cutie eyeballs on all of her drawings. And it really makes it come out if you do a great job coloring in around the circles. So I drew one big circle, and then I drew two circles inside, a medium-sized circle, and then below that, a smaller circle. And those circles are going to stay white while everything else is going to get colored in black. And again, you want to try to color that in as good as you can. It really makes a huge difference in what the final piece of your drawing looks like, if it's colored in or not. You can already see that my little Rudolph has got some little bit of character. All right, so now that I know my, where my eyes are, sort of between the nose and the eyes, I'm going to make this big, long curve that's going to be the overall sort of nose mouth shape of my Rudolph. So you might want to, if you're worried, you can always put sort of dots so it becomes a little bit more even. I'm going to draw a nice, big, long curve here. And I'm going to connect these curves together. So I'm going to connect to this curve down here and up here like this. Just like that. And now I need to add in some little ears. So there's some big sort of like, I kind of like them as like D shapes maybe. And then from this ear it's just going to come straight down like that. So we have a fun little muzzle on this little reindeer. That's the right word. So I'm going to do that again to the other side. And again, I'm just going to sort of drop that part down. And we can always finish with a cute little smile. Little smiles are great. And now the last thing we're going to do before we get to cutting and wiring our circuit up is we actually need to draw in the flap that's going to cover our circuit. So that's just a big 
sort of rectangle. And you want to go down pretty far because this flap is going to go on the back side and cover up your circuit at the same time it acts as a switch. So you want it to be pretty wide, just like that. All right, and so now we are going to cut our little Rudolph out now that we have him wired, um, him drawn out, and then we will get to wiring him up. I'm gonna do that one, I think. All right, so let's cut this little Rudolph out, and you're just gonna cut around the outside black lines that you've drawn. And if you want to decorate and color your Rudolph, now is actually a great time to do that before you start wiring up your circuit. And that's because once you start wiring your circuit, you're going to have all these bumps from where you have your copper tape at and where you have the LED legs or where the battery is. So it's easier to color everything in right now. I'm really excited about these little critters. It might be a little tricky to get in to these ears and um, antlers of your reindeer. You just take it slow. It's always a good way to get through some tougher stuff. You could also try using a pair of really small scissors, like nail scissors are really popular in our house to do that type of a thing. And so I'm just going to keep cutting. I think we're going to use these as fun little window decorations this year. My girls love doing art. And so this is a really fun way to sort of blend art, and just a little bit of science. Although I think my girls, they love seeing the LEDs wired up and they've done it so many times. I'm not sure if they see as much of the science as they used to, but they definitely have that skill now. And wiring circuits is a skill that if it doesn't work the first time, you gotta keep trying. It didn't work for my girls a lot of the times they started off. But now they are sort of little masters of wiring up circuits. All right. So mom and dad, cutting this guy out might take a little time and some patience. Depending on the age of whoever is making this project, you might help them cut it out. Because sometimes with little hands, longer projects like this can be frustrating. I like to always let them cut out maybe the easier parts and then I'll help them with some of the tricky stuff. But I'm really excited about these winter, the winter series of these little paper circuit cards that we have going on. They're going to be a lot of fun. Although it makes me think my five-year-old loves unicorns. I bet she would love it to have a template to do a little unicorn one of these. Maybe we'll have that coming up. All right. So I have... My little guy and he is all wired up. Now if you want to be able to just actually print off this picture of Rudolph with the circuit, you can do that. We have that available online for you to download and it will have, it'll show you everywhere you're going to want to put your wires and how to wire it on the back so that we can cover it up. But if you don't want to, you can just follow these instructions as we go. So one of the first things we're going to do is I'm actually going to take like a pencil to sort of make a hole in Rudolph's nose. And sometimes you can use the LED legs, but with cardstock it can be a little bit trickier. So I'm going to try to make a little hole for my LED. And I'll just do that by pressing the pen down really hard and then pulling up on the paper. And you can see that it just popped right on through. And I'm going to feed... You know what, maybe I want two holes. Do the second one right next to it. And we'll feed the LED legs into those two holes so that the LED can be on the outside. Now if you want this to be backlit where it's sort of the nose and his, his whole face would probably light up, 
if that sort of a situation, but if you want it to be backlit, you would just, instead of threading your LED through, you would just start with it on the back. But I like having it sort of out, which is kind of fun. All right, so I have my little LED here. And your LED has a short leg and a long leg. And the short leg is just slightly shorter, a few millimeters shorter than the long leg. It's this one right here. And that is the one that goes to the bottom side of the battery. So that's the side of the battery that does not have writing. This would be the top of the battery. And it's the side of the battery that sort of has usually a bunch of little bubbly dots. And then the long leg is going to go to the side with the writing on it. And we want to make sure as we wire this up that we keep those guys straight just because LEDs are one-way streets. So if you have the short leg on the top of the battery, it won't actually light up for you. All right, so now as we're getting started on wiring it, just take a nice piece of copper tape. And what we're going to do is we'll put the battery, we're going to put the battery, it'll end up there. So I'm going to put a piece of wire tape that I can connect to the short leg using some scotch tape after. And one of the trickiest pieces about wire tape, uh, copper tape is getting it started. So I like to use my nail to get it started. And then you want to lay it down. You don't want to peel this off all at once. You want to lay it down right as you go. So I'm going to end up making my LED do the splits. I'm going to put it up here. And it's sort of handy. There's no bins in these templates we have and I do that because I find that's the hardest part of any um, any circuit that you do with copper tape any paper circuits always the bins that get you so and to get rid of one of those bins what we're gonna do is for the long leg we're actually going to go here and we're gonna go at an angle the angle is really important because then when this piece gets flipped up it ends up on top of the battery but you'll notice if I put my battery right here, I'm touching the top and the bottom to the same piece. And that won't quite work for me. So what I'm going to do is I'll take a piece of little scotch tape and I'm going to actually cover up this part of my paper. I actually made that a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter. Just like that. All right. So. I can put my battery here now on top of that guy. It can touch, but it's actually touching the scotch tape and not the copper tape. So I'm getting really close to being ready. I'm going to tape in my LED. So the way I can do that is I'll just make it do the split side to side. And you could tape it down just like this. I personally really like to bend each leg along that copper tape that's going to hit. So it just gets a little bit more contact. That's one of those things that can be a make or break with a paper circuit. And I also like to sort of make sure that they want to be on the copper tape instead of coming up off of it. Even though the tape will hold it down, it's helpful if you also have that piece. And then we'll just add a piece of scotch tape over each of those legs, just like that. And I'll put my battery in and Again, I need to leave some of it, some of this piece of tape, which is going to fold over on top, I need to leave some of the top part clear. So I can't just tape straight over the top. But what I can do is I can tape sort of on the sides, on the edges. And that's just to hold my battery in place. You just want to make sure that you keep a piece of it open so that it can make contact. And you can smush it down however you need. And now is sort of that moment to test. So this is the big flap that we had had. And we're just going to fold it up. And you see how that covers it really nicely. And now when I press, you'll notice that his little nose lights up. So what you can do is now you've got this. We can tape this part down. Just like that. So it covers up that whole circuit, and I can tape all along this if I'd like to. And for some of the circuit projects, and even this one, if you want, you can actually color the back to hide that even better. And now you sort of have two choices. You have this little reindeer that when you press on the battery, 
it lights up, which is kind of fun because you get to press it. Or you can use a clip, and we have some clips around that will let you sort of bite onto it, and that will help you um, keep it on if you want to keep it on permanently. So that is our fun little Rudolph project, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you drew it with us, I would love to see pictures, and if you decided to download it with the template, let's see how it worked out for you guys. You can also find some other fun little projects like this in our holiday series. We have a snowman coming out and an ornament coming out, so I'll hope to see you with those too. And don't forget, if you're worried about where to get the supplies and the LEDs, you can always find that through our Amazon link that will give you the whole thing. Thanks so much for joining us today, and I hope we'll see you soon. Bye.